Hello, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Depending on the time you are watching this video, I mention all the greetings. My name is Freddy Oswald Cruz. I'm a student from English Didactic Planning 1, whose teacher is Licenciado Rafael Osvaldo Nunez Mancilla. The topic and level assigned is ninth grade, unit number one, and the content is plans for the weekend. After this short cell presentation, allow me to show you my lesson plan. Slide two. First of all, I'll be showing you the main parts of the lesson plan. Firstly, we have the teacher's name. We must also include the name of the school or the name of the institution. In the second line, you can see the topic, which is plans for the weekend. Thirdly, we can see the unit, the grade, in this case is ninth grade, and the level, basic. In language focus, I included speaking, listening, and writing. The time to develop this lesson plan is 90 minutes. I took into account the sitting arrangement, which is horseshoe, in order to make the class more interactive. Next, we have the objectives. I will read them to you. The first one. At the end of the lesson, the students will be able to write plans for the weekend using going to and will in affirmative and questions with a 90% of accuracy. The second objective, it says, students will be able to express future plans in role plays and conversations using going to and will in affirmative statements and questions with the correct grammar accuracy. After that, you can see the key expressions that the students are going to use listen to and learn just to mention a couple of them because of time what are you going to do this weekend what will you do this weekend ultimately let me list all the resources that i'll be using for this class a bluetooth speaker the whiteboard some markers a smartphone with internet access, a hot potato bowl, a chart, and some worksheets. I will spend 15 minutes in this part. Slide number three. Here, I will start the class with a smile, and right after, I will explain the warm up, the famous game, the hot potato. I will tell the students that the one with the hot potato has to mimic the actions. They are going to find in the pieces of paper of the hot potato. For example, they will find, they will find in the potato something like this, going to play football. So they have to mimic the action of kicking a ball and the rest has to guess and so on. For this activity, I think that 15 minutes is more than enough to develop it. I will help the student that doesn't know the meaning of the action by telling the answer secretly in his or her ear in Spanish. Slide four. This is the core of the lesson plan. This is the presentation stage. I'll start telling the students to focus their attention on these questions. What are your plans for the weekend? I will raise my voice on the word plans and weekend. Then I will show a calendar pointing out Saturday and Sunday for them to, to get the meaning of weekend. Then I will say, the other questions. Then I will explain with a meter in my hand the chart. 
as you can see I've divided the chart into three sections I'll tell them in order to answer the previous questions these ones we have to follow these three steps first we need one of the pronouns I he she it we you they second we need either the verb be plus going to or will plus a verb plus a complement which is the vocabulary part and that'll be all after that I will tell them when they are going to use going to by telling them a hypothetical example if you are 90% of doing something use going to a plan for example I'm going to travel to Italy someone who says this has already bought the ticket for traveling to Italy that is something that is going to happen he is 90% sure of this on the other hand you use will when you are not sure of doing something or going somewhere example we will win the championship in this hypothetical situation there is 50 and 50 percent of certainty they might win the championship or they might end they are not sure about winning but they'll make the effort now I will make the examples with the help of the students I will ask them what could be the plan for picture number one what do we need first what do you see in the picture and then they will say they see a girl on the beach so we need one of these but which one they'll start telling all the pronouns I'll choose the student who is distracted to tell me which pronoun we need to begin writing the sentence if the students don't tell me the right answer I will ask do you see in the picture a boy a girl a multitude they will say they see a girl and I will ask again if it is a girl what is the correct pronoun for a girl and I am sure that, the, that at least one student is going to say she so I will write in the pronoun she then I will say the girl is not completely sure of going to the beach I will ask which one do we have to use in this case going to or will if they say going to I will remind them that going to is used when you are 90% sure of doing something but in this case the girl is not sure so by logic they'll choose will and because it is a place we have to use the verb to go to finish with the third section of the vocabulary to the beach I explained to you only one example because of time I'll apply the same technique with the rest of the examples it will take me about 20 minutes for this activity slide number five practice stage in this sections I will provide this worksheet for the students to do the listening exercise I will play the audio three times the first time for the students to get familiar with it the second time for the students to solve the exercise the third time to finish the items they didn't hear well after the listening I will ask the students to repeat the question twice or three times depending on the accuracy of the students at the moment they are pronouncing the sentences finally I'm going to ask students some of the questions from the listening 
and they have to answer utilizing the vocabulary provided in the chart. See the example. The teacher will ask, where are you going on Sunday? The possible answer from the student, I'm going to visit my granny. I think that 25 minutes are okay for the practice section. Slide number six. Here starts the production stage, part one. I will instruct the students to write one sentence for each personal pronoun, except it. They will have to write six sentences using going to, and six sentences using will. And once again, I will explain the steps that need to follow in order to write their plans. Slide number seven. I continue with the production stage. To make sure how I want them to write the sentence, I will provide an example in the whiteboard. I'm going to the disco on Saturday. They will have to draw a picture that represents the sentence. As you can see here, I will draw on the board a man dancing. After the example, I will be monitoring the student's work for those who need help. As soon as the students complete the exercise, I will be checking their sentences when the majority of the class is done. Aside from that, I will make a contest. Five girls versus five boys will have to pass to the front. I will divide the whiteboard into two parts, one for the boys and the other one for the girls. I will ask the students that are not participating to read five sentences using going to and will and the contestants have to make a drawing on the board. The participants that finishes first gains one point. The group with more points wins. As a reward, I will give away one candy each. The time for this activity is 23 minutes. Slide number eight. We're almost finishing. Assessments, assessment and wrap up. To evaluate if the objectives have been accomplished, students will be asking and answering in pairs. They can freely choose one of the questions that were taught during the class. You can see here the possible questions. What are you doing this weekend? And here, the possible answers. I will assign five minutes for this activity. In minute number four, I will stop the exercise and I will choose a couple to role play the questions and answers. They just practice. And the last, but not the least, the wrap up. Here, I will assign a homework in which students will have to write five sentences of things they are 90% sure that they are going to do this with King. For those sentences, they must use going to, and they will also have to write five sentences of things they will probably do this weekend. For these sentences, they must use will. I will spend two minutes here. Slide number nine. Contingency plan. Just in case some students finish thirds, I will hand in a worksheet for them to keep on working. See the worksheet below. That's all. I hope you like it. Bye.